Hey everyone, I'm making some apple dumplings here. So what I have here is the crescent roll dough sheets. Just gonna find the end here. And we're just gonna set that aside. What I did ahead of time is I peeled an apple. So this recipe, I have half of it in the oven. This recipe is two apples. You can pick Granny Smith's, you can pick whatever kind of apples that you would like. And then um, two apples and one and uh, six ounces of clear soda or you can use Mountain Dew, a tablespoon, or a teaspoon rather, of uh, cinnamon, a teaspoon of vanilla extract, one and a half cups of sugar, and then a stick of melted butter. So it should be really good. So all we're going to do is just cut out those little seed pockets in our apple. This is our veggie wedger that I, you saw me use to cut. The apple and, and um, six pieces and a couple of these are a little big so we're just gonna cut them down again just in half so they cook down evenly so I'm just gonna get all this out of my way here and then all we're going to do is stick an apple Six of them here. I'm going to just cut a couple more of these down because they're a little too wide. Oh, we might be able to fit eight actually. And then all I'm going to do is use my pastry cutter and cut this dough and then just cut enough around each one so we can make a little pocket around it. And then all we're going to do is wrap these around it, just pinching it all the way around. And we just do that for each one of these. Oh, it sounds like our other ones are done. So what we're going to do is I'm using one of my stones and I'm just going to place them in here evenly. And I am using, you can use Granny Smith apples if you like a little bit of tartness. We're using Honeycrisp. Costco had a good price on them so we wanted to go with the Honeycrisps. And then what we're going to do is make a little sauce for the top. And that consists of all those other ingredients. And then before we put it in the oven, what we're going to do is, um, see, we'll just, these will get really big and puffed up. It'll taste really great. So we want to make our sauce. So it's the sugar, the cinnamon, and then I'll get our melted butter out. And since I'm doing a half of this at a time since um, I cut it up into two so you can see the finished product. And then we have a table, or a teaspoon of vanilla. I wouldn't mind a tablespoon because I love vanilla, but might overpower it. And this is one of my favorite mats that I'm using. It is our pastry mat. It's great for cookies and pie crust and everything. So I'm just gonna mix this up. And then we just spoon this over the apple dumplings. All right. So we'll just spoon this over. And if you like to brush it and be more evenly, you can use a base, uh, chef uh, base thing brush. But I think just spooning it over works fine. 
And then all we do is add the um, clear soda to it and bake it at 350 for 35 to 45 minutes, depending on your oven. I did mine for 40 minutes and they look and smell really good. So I'll show you what those look like here in a minute. So we're just gonna pour this over the top and then you just bake it. So let me show you what the, the, the finished product looks like. Just moving you along with me here. It's not as jiggly this time because I got my stand finally. Oh my gosh, this smells so good. Can you guys see that? It looks and smells amazing. I cannot wait. I suppose I better scoop some up for Luke right away. So you just scoop it up. It's nice and crisp because I'm using the stone and you can add a little, if there's a little drizzle, I have a little bit of syrup that we can drizzle over the top if you'd like, but it looks really good. I'm betting it tastes amazing too. So if you have any questions, please email me or go to my website. Oh, sorry about that guys. <laughs> um, which side am I on now? I flipped over, sorry. Okay, there we go. There's the finished product. And any questions, you can email me. <laughs> yes, that did hurt. <laughs> Someone said, ouch, if you guys didn't see it. Um, my website and my email. Thank you guys for watching. Bye.